Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 20 Wick and Wanderers career mode series. We're here in the championship. As you can see, um, we're in the wrong thing. We need to go to here. In terms of our league position, we left off our last episode in 8th position in the league. 5 wins and 4 losses. Scored 11 goals and let in 6 goals. Better goal difference than QPR. If we win this game, it should elevate us above QPR. Um, then we'll only be, what, three points off the top six? For a team of our sort of stature, that is absolutely fine. It's absolutely baking in this room today. Very, very hot outside. And I unfortunately have the hottest room in the house. And we have to close the curtains, open, turn the big light on, turn the little lights on. And that just makes even more and more heat. But as you can see, uh, Adiemi just below. Well, he's two goals off top goal scorer. He scored six goals in nine games. No one else on there. Assists. Uh, Kashke is there. Three assists. Gomez is there on three assists in eight as well. Uh, clean sheets. All sop. Five clean sheets. Could be on for the golden glove. Yellow cards. We haven't really had any. Really. And red cards, we haven't had any either. This is how the team is looking. Um, we are just going to jump straight into today's games. Uh, we are in, of course, October. It looks like we're going to have five games to play today. Um, actually, we have six games. So we're actually going to do... We'll do four games, I guess. I guess we'll do the four league games. We'll do the five league games, and then we'll leave the Carabao Cup for the start of the next episode. When things start to get a little bit more congested. So anyway, let's jump into this one then. We have our first game against Millwall at home. Hopefully we can pick up all three points. Ball in here. There's Adiemi. Little chip over for Kashkit. Kashkit! On the re- Oh, he's missed it, you bloody plumhead. I'm fuming on the touchline there. I'm absolutely fuming. What foot is Kashke Or Cash, whatever the bloody hell you call him. He is left-footed. I thought he was. I remember him being left-footed. And I tried to finesse that. And he just refused to do it. Which was really strange. Oh, that's lovely from Adiemi, though. Here comes Adiemi. He's been pushed off the ball. Gomez, it changed me from him. Oh, this bloody game. What a save, also. If... Mill will get a goal here. That's injustice, man. We've been dominating this half. Here comes the corner. It will be a corner again. Thought that was in. Jesus Christ. Come on. In goes the corner. Oh my god, the goalkeeper, what are you doing, bro? Oh, oh big save again from all top. We're getting dominated now. Mill will slowly getting into this game. We can't get out of our own buddy half. Here's Cash K. Cash K. That's lovely beating the man. And he can't get the ball in the box. Oh my god. Nil nil then at half time. And the stats are probably going to look in Millwall's favour. But I mean, Alsop has kept us in this game. There we go. Man. It's been a very, very tight game. But Millwall have been henning us in. We haven't been able to keep possession. And there we go. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Look at this. What a cross. Fuck me up. Millwall, in the last half an hour, have been playing like fucking Pep's Barcelona. Pinging the ball around. Like it's nothing. And now they're just going to sit. That's a fucking red card. He's gone right through the back of him there. That's an absolute disgrace. This referee needs to be ashamed. There's no space for anyone. His Shackleton. We got no one to bloody pass to. No one to pass to. Look at Millwall sweating it out. For fuck's sake, we've lost the game. A 1-0 loss to a fucking, like, Millwall turned up like they were bloody Barcelona. Look at that. We got dominated. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. So frustrating. 
We could have gone three points off the top six, but we bottled it. We absolutely bottled it. Difficult game. Uh, well, it was low confidence, but whatever. We couldn't play our usual game because they was sat ten men behind the ball, and uh, he's a really good player. But fuck off! Like, there's no way he just fucking cunted that ball in the back of the net. <sighs> Parker, mate. Whatever. I don't really care. Oh, Akin Fenwell wanted to play, but you know what? Squad rotation's important, mate. You're not going to play in most games. You're old as fuck. All right, and uh, just as we finish that. We have uh, another game against Derby. The team is still fucked, so we are going to have to make some rotational changes where and if we can. So let's just have a look at this here. We're playing our away strip. What can we do? Adiemi is going to take a rest. Uh, we might as well rest the whole team, really, if we can. Apart from De Vires, because I think he's still injured, so I'm not going to risk him. Uh, Wheeler will come in on the right. Uh, Foba will come in with Thompson. We got Grimmer on the right. We'll play Masco on the left. We'll play Jambati and Phillips in the middle. And Stockdale will come in there. Go on, hit it! Freeman, what are you going to do? We're going to have to play it all the way back there. I think we just need to keep the ball a little bit more. Keep our possession. I say that, and then we go and lose that silly pass there. Ah. Derby County are playing like dirty bastards. They have fouled Akin Fenwa so many bloody times here. This is a joke. Again, another foul. He's just killing us with fouls here. This is a joke. Freeman, on your Dinma. We couldn't do anything. Look how many men they have. There's about 10 men behind the ball. This is a joke. This is an absolute yoke. And yet another foul of these players. They are playing so, so dirty. We're in a good position here for a free kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. And now they will make the personnel change. Can we get it in, though? That's the question. Oh. Very nearly got it in. They're going to score. Oh my god. Big save by Stockdale. All right. Let's make some subs here. This isn't working. Um, I guess Adiemi can come on. And I guess Samuel can come on up top as well. To try and salvage something from this game. There we go. Nil, nil. For fuck's sake. We didn't even register a shot on target that whole game. Derby held us out like we were fucking sausages. Well, we got one shot on target. Such a boring game again. Fuck me. All right, then. Some player training then. Shackleton and Gomez. Uh, Gomez goes up to, well, he's halfway to a 71. Uh, we got Phillips here on the player chat. Uh, well, I still believe in you, mate. You stay in for now. You're probably not going to be kept from loan, but... Oh well. And into the next game then. We're against Bristol City. I am gonna make the changes to the team lineup. Hold up just a second. Is that Diemi? Just hit it, son. Yes! Thank you. One nil. Oh, I wasn't gonna square it because Gomez would have bloody missed it because he's incompetent. But oh Jeez, it's absolutely bacon in here, guys. It's bacon in here. There we go then, half time. Um, a dead half really, not really much to talk about. See by the stats, it's normally the usual. We get dominated in the possession and we score a lucky goal. Kind of how I can see Wickham season going in the championship really. Go on Adiemi. Go on. Oh, come on now. And there we go. We see out a 1-0 win against Bristol City. Ow, my glasses. Barely any action there at all. It was literally all just dominated by possession by Bristol. 
We'd win the ball back for a bit and then we'd lose it again. As you see, we pulled back the possession, but just a really, really boring game. And that's what happens when you're against... When you're better than the difficulty you're playing against, but your team is shit. That's what happens. All right, then. More player training. This time it is uh, De Vries and Adiemi. De Vries goes up to a 64. You know, he could be in for a shout soon to take Kashkut's spot in the team. And we put Onya Dinma over on that uh, right-hand side. Akin Fenwa says he needs to play more. You still have a place in our squad, but really you don't, let's be honest. We'll simulate up to Fulham then. And then we have an what, another league game? Surely not. Jesus, it is another league game, isn't it? Bloody hell. Right, uh, captaincy suggestions. Yeah, Matt Bloomfield is not being our captain. I'm sorry. No respect to him. No disrespect to Matt Bloomfield, but he's not good enough for our career mode. We're back three points away from the top six. I don't know how we're going to fare today. Fulham are a very, very strong team. We're going to have to play very, very well. And hopefully pull out a result. Tom Kearney. <laughs> oh, and it's already 1-0. Oh dear me, I think this could be a bit of a battering, I'm not going to lie. Here's Gomez, Gomez, to Adiemi, yes! Oh Adiemi you beast, Jesus Christ my fan isn't really making any difference to the heat in here with that. Hell of a strike, lovely jubbly. 1-1 one, one, back in the game. We always play better against the better teams. I've noticed that. They're a bit more open. It allows us a bit more space just to do what we want. Go on, Gomez. Oh, Le Marchand. Le Marchand. What a tackle there from Le Marchand. And there we go. Half time. 1-1. One, one. If we could get a draw here, that would be pretty big. I wouldn't lie. would Definitely take a 1 1 draw away at Craven Cottage in the bloody housing estate. Go on, Gomez. Go on, Gomez. You've done well, lad. Oh, he makes it too. Hector tries to block it. He's humble anyway. Disgusting. Gomez makes it 2 1. I believe that might be his first goal in the league as well. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant here. Look at this. Defender, Le Marchand, wrong footed. Oh, get done. And then, oh, is that handball? I think it might be, you know. Is that handball? Or did he hit it with his leg? No, it's his back. Oh, I thought it was handball. Fair enough, Hector, mate. But 2-1, let's go. Let's just sit back. I'm happy to take a 2-1 win. I'll take the three points and fucking run. Sprint. Back to Wickham. Fulham are in here. Big save. Oh, no, it's 2-2. Two, two. No. Okay, let's make some subs. Adiemi's actually pretty fit. He can stay on. Thompson on. Wheeler on. And do you know what? We might even take... Uh, oh, we don't have anyone to bring on for him. Because Akin Fenn was there as well. Yeah, we'll leave it as that for now. Leave it as that for now. Here they come again. Oh, there we go. Full time then. 2-2. Two, two. Against Fulham, uh, it's okay at the end of the day. I expected for us to get battered there when we conceded early. But you know what? It's another point on the board. As many points as we can get this season, the better. All right, then I'm moving on to the next game. We have an away game against Birmingham. And then we have our quarterfinal game in the Carabao Cup. So, I mean, Birmingham are pretty... I mean, they're lower than us in the table. So I think we'll play pretty much a second team here and then we'll keep our first team ready for the um the other game we have we have a lot of fit players how far away is our looting game i think it's like wednesday or thursday we have three you know what fuck it we're just gonna play the first team I'm not. I'd like to keep some rotate. I do like to keep some rotations. Maybe Gomez would be best to be rotated. What I might do is I might drop Cash get into Cam, play Onyedima on the right, and then play Duvirez 
on the left. We will keep Gomez on the bench. And then we'll bring Thompson on there. But apart from that, I'm pretty happy with the team. I mean, we might play Wheeler for Onya Dinma. But apart from that, the rest of the team is pretty much full fitness anyway. So we'll just go into this game and again, see how many points we can get. Ball over for Wheeler then. What can Wheeler do? He's going to hit one. Oh. So close. Is Adiemi then? Oh, makes it 1 0. Lovely jubbly. Adiemi gets himself on the score sheet again. What a debut season he's having so far. Oh, my goodness me. Lovely goal. Our oh, number 14 there. Look at that. Lovely ball in. Wrong foot's the goal, the defender. Near post OP. Lovely goal. 1 0 up. Let's go. Oh, what a header! Who was that? I think it's Adiemi again. McCarthy puts a lovely ball in. Adiemi makes it 2 0. What a header that was. Holy shit. That was a beautiful header. Beautiful stalking header there. Look at this. Lovely ball in. Adiemi comes from absolutely nowhere. Just corks it. What a bloody header. 2 0 up. Lovely jubbly. Big save from Allsop there. Allsop's been fantastic this season, you know. He's made some bloody good saves. And there we go. 2 0 which the victory there against Birmingham. Another solid performance. Another three points on the board. A fairly solid game, but at least we had some shots to show this time for it. God damn it. And moving swiftly on then to the final game of this episode. It's against Luton Town at home in the EFL Cup. As you can see, we are in the last 16 of the tie. Uh, United have gone through, Spurs through, Newcastle through, Chelsea through. I mean, our only chance is, I mean, all those games are going to be tough. Newcastle could potentially be doable, but I think this might be the furthest we get. Even if we can get past Luton Town, they're not a team to be, you know, sniffed at. They did get, you know, they were in the championship like ourselves last season. So, let's see if we can end the episode off on a high. Here's Fred. Here's Onya Dinma. What's he going to do? He's going to come back and he's going to lose the ball like an idiot. Here's Onya Dinma again then. What's he going to do this time around? He's going to try the same thing. He's going to try and come back inside. Gets the ball to Shackleton. To Gomez. Has the shot. And makes it 1-0. In the Carabao Cup. Go and celebrate with the fans, mate. Go and celebrate with the fans. We could be getting into the Carabao Cup quarterfinals here. This is insane. What a lovely piece of play this is. Just te teasing it around the back of the box. Cash get lovely pass. And then Gomez with a lovely finish as well. 1-0 up. We're not just going to sit on that though. We're going to push for more of course. Because that's the sort of club that we are. Gomez again hits it. Oh. Very, very close to getting in front by two goals there then. There we go then, guys. Half time, 1 0 up. And uh, a very, fairly good, you know, dominating the game somewhat. I mean, we don't have tons of shots, but at the end of the day, our team, as I've said, really is fairly weak. Once we get, you know, some more, uh, some better sort of star players in here and our star players start to go up in there overall, then we'll start to see some bad performances. But right now, this first season. Is a building season, I think. Not one for performances. Building. No, they make it 1-1. One, one. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's make some subs while we're here. Um, not really money to people to bring on. Akin Fenwa is a bit of a cup hero. Um, so we'll bring him in. Thompson will come in. And uh, Wheeler will come in as well. Who's better at attacking? 
Wheeler, what's he going to do? Gets into Thompson. What an interception for Ian Paznu there. Maybe we can still get ahead in this game. I don't know. I really don't know. Akin Fenwa hits it. Scores in the 88th minute. Oh, what a goal. Akin Fenwa, he's a bloody Carabao Cup legend, mate. You can go and do the dance. You can do the dance. That's dance worthy. Ha, ha. <laughs> what an absolute look at that gets out of his feet just about and absolutely smashes out of the keeper Adebayo Akin Fenwa is a cup legend mate he's a cup legend and a club legend cup legend and a club legend as well beast mode activated there we go a 2-1 victory in the cup we go into the Carabao Cup quarterfinals guys that is absolutely massive for the club. Absolutely brilliant. As you can see, a very tight game once again. But Everton go through, beat Brighton, and Man City, of course, are going to beat Wolves. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Look at that. So we're either going to get Everton, City, Liverpool, Spurs, Newcastle, United, or Chelsea. That is, uh, well, going to be tough, whatever one of those games is. And here we go then, to end off the episode we do have our Youth Squad Monthly Report on Reese Harrison and also Dominic Robson. Dominic Robson looks okay, again he's chilling in there, he's 17 years old though, maybe it would be best to get him out. I don't know, um, we'll leave him in there for now. I mean it's again it's another left mid, we already have left mid covered, so which is why I'm going to leave him in there. Another scouting update, uh, Alfie Phillips uh, can stay. Harvey Cox, just too low overall. He's gone. Uh, Ollie Jackson is fine to stay. Ed Mitchell is fine to stay. Ewan Allen, I mean, he's 15 years old. Could be okay. Ideally, I'm looking at that overall. Like, Max King right here, for me, could be a good signing. So, I'm going to sign him straight in. We'll see what position he's been assigned. We're currently, look at this. If we win this game, we'd only be three points behind Norrit, uh, Forrest. Of course, this is next episode. But we're only three points off the top top six now. Adiemi, two goals off top goal scorer. Next episode, hopefully, I mean, we have another jam-packed episode there. We'll probably have a cup game as well. So another six-game episode. But there's not many goals for each game, so that helps that out. Um, and I have my halves all very short, so that's fine. We'll take a look at what this uh, player is then. He is a centre mid, 52 overall. Who knows, he could be a beast. But that's where we're going to end this one then, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.